Hi there, it is Christina Lovisa from A Curated Nest and I am going to show you something that absolutely has changed for me my mixed media practice. So a lot of you uh, know me as as um, mixed media and encaustic artist and because of that little background we're always struggling to find a good adhesive for our papers that will not only um, complement the 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 art that we're doing in the paper you know it, anyway it works really well just like Mod Podge or any kind of of medium out there however the one thing that we all struggle to look for is a really good adhesive or a really good glue hi Julia or a really good glue or adhesive that will also work under our encaustic so there's a lot of buzz about this glue I should have reversed my my camera so you all could see that but you can figure out what it says and this glue is um, probably one of one of my favorites except for the fact that it's difficult to find right now but it's also expensive because I work in such huge pieces so today I am going to show you how to make this and honestly it has changed everything for me so uh yeah i'm gonna put the camera down and i'm going to show you this product sorry we don't need to look all right so this product is now on the shelves in our store and i'm just going to show you how to mix it and i'm going to talk a little bit about the properties of it but honestly it has changed everything for me so um, what you will need is this great art adhesive. It's a wallpaper adhesive, but it's actually meant to be um, a heavy body wallpaper adhesive so that you can use it for different projects. It is also, um, it's made in Germany. It's very high quality. And unlike a lot of commercial wallpaper paste that you buy, which are um, almost like the consistency of like an oatmeal or something with a lot of water in them, this is going to um, really be impressive to you because it is much more um, of a yes paste than it is of a wallpaper paste. So what you will need is a container with a measuring, there we go, with a measure on the side. So I bought these at Costco and I, I use these because I can make such large quantities at one time. But if you just use a measuring cup, you can figure all this out in and just mix it in a pail or in a bowl or whatever you want. And then you can um, just wash out those items later because this is non-toxic. So it's not actually going to affect your kitchen tools at all. And it is completely um, water soluble. So what you'll need on the instructions, it will tell you in German and in English, it will give you the um, different uses. So one is a pre-paste, this is for wallpaper of course, heavy papers, wood chip paper, and special bonding paper. Um, so you can do either a special bonding or a heavy paper to a wood chip paper. So they're all sort of what we might use them for in mixed media. Um, but the, the most consistent I have seen is with the heavy wallpaper to yes paste for what I like to do. So this I'll show you is a batch that I made last night. And you can see it's got the same consistency as yes paste. It's just got a nice, you know, movement to it, nice thickness. And I can go ahead and I can move this into jars if I want and save it for a lot longer or because I like to dip my big brush in, I'll probably keep one in this big container and then that way I can do large sheets of paper at once. So according to the manufacturer instructions, you will need to make a heavy wallpaper base, you will need four liters of water. That to me is too much of the paste at one time. So I'm only gonna do two liters and half of the package. So, you might have to move it to a dry cup measure so that you can actually figure out what a half is. 
Um, I just eyeballed it, but you know, I'm not great at baking either, so I don't recommend that you follow my instructions entirely. If you are a measurer, go ahead and measure. But I've got two liters of cold water here. And the instructions tell you to add the dry powder to the cold water, stirring vigorously. So that is what I'll do. I have a whisk and I'm adding my powder. And you can see, I hope you can see, that I have no lumps, which is really good, but I'm gonna keep stirring it. And you're supposed to stir for about two minutes. And then we have to let it sit for two to three minutes. And then it'll start to thicken. Okay, so I have a nice consistency there. So you can see it's very watery, but there's no lump. So I'm gonna let that sit for two to three minutes and then it's going to thicken. And then I give it another good stir for another two to three minutes. And what I end up with is a thickening paste as we go. So the instructions tell you that if you get any lumps, um, it's because you weren't stirring enough as you went in, but that's okay because you just let it sit overnight and then give it a stir the next day. So I actually had some lumps because I did it incorrectly in this batch and I let it sit overnight. And this morning, um, sure as the instructions say, as soon as I went ahead and added the, um, uh, or as soon as I took the whisk back to it, I got rid of all the lumps. So it is a beautiful consistency. And this one, I don't know if you can see, but it's shiny and it's smooth and it's got a great texture to it. Whereas the one that I just mixed is a bit more lump, not lumpy, but it's like a potato soup. It's got that kind of a consistency to it. So we're just gonna let it sit for another minute or so. And I'm gonna tell you what I do with this. So in order to, um, wallpapers, let me back up a little bit, are wallpaper pastes are traditionally a cellulose based glue. So there's no acrylic in them which makes it ideal for working in mixed media and in caustic and such things like that. However, if you add a teeny bit of glue to it, what we do is, first of all, we're mimicking what's in, um, in, uh, in the Yes Paste. Okay, I'm trying to find it, but I don't have my glasses on, so I can't exactly tell you, but we're mimicking the component to it that will allow it to not be strippable later. So the thing about wallpaper paste is that as soon as it's, because it's a cellulose based glue, as soon as you re-wet it, so let's say in, say in a couple of years, you're, you're tired of your uh, wallpaper, you would re-wet it after scoring it, and then the water will soak in and it'll reactivate that glue. And then, so it be, it's non-permanent, right? And then you can strip your wallpaper. So what we need to do is make sure that whatever we are gluing to our panels or to our, our mixed media projects end up being um, more permanent so that as we're working in wet media, meaning paints and, and waters and glazes and all that good stuff, it's not gonna reactivate and have our papers lift as soon as we have everything dry and ready to go. So what I'm going to do to this is I'm going to grab an adhesive and I'm going to go get my glue. I am just going to use a white wood glue in this case. A white glue would work. Um, if you use the the kids glue, you know, like the, the non-toxic kids glue, then again, it's, it's also just non-toxic and it's safe for you know eating in case the kids put their fingers in their mouth. So I figure if it's okay for a kid's project, it's gonna be okay for my project. So what I'm doing is to two liters, I'm just gonna add what looks good to me, a good gloop. 
so there you go so you can see I just have a little bit in there and I'm going to use my whisk or my spatula and I'm going to incorporate that glue into the wallpaper paste which is not necessary if you're not working in wet media meaning you're not working with a lot of um, uh, water and, and acrylic paints or chalk paints or anything like that after the fact. So if you're strictly using it for collage, then just go ahead and use the wallpaper paste as is. You don't need to add the glue. I just do this for a little bit of assurance that my bond is going to be a bit more permanent. Now you'll notice when you add the glue, you're going to change the consistency a little bit. And this is when a hand blender comes in really well if you want it to be perfectly smooth or you could add a little more water and keep whisking and that sort of thing. I actually don't care if it's a little on the lumpy side. It's okay for me, um, but that's going to be your choice. Just don't water it down expecting that to smooth it all out. The addition of the glue does change the consistency just a wee bit, but it is in my case really important. So let's put that one aside. And we'll go back to this one. So this one has thickened considerably. And we're going to give it another whisking. And you can start to see that it's becoming shiny and thick. And that is exactly what we're looking for when we want to mimic this good stuff. Okay. So we want that shiny thickness and then leaving it sit overnight or what they recommend is 15 minutes before using it. So, and then you'll whisk it again. But as you can see here, I have got this wonderful paste ready to go for all my big projects. And um, what I will do with that once I get to whisk it again after the 15 minutes is I'm going to uh, put it into glass jars. So this will help me make it last a long time and um, it just prevents any of the air and things from getting in. So plastic containers are fine, but I always find that somehow there's air leakage and then you end up, um, you know, your, your product ends up thickening or spoiling too soon. So in glass jars, it's really helpful. So I am going to put this video back on our website at curatednest.com and I will link the product um, for any of you wondering where to buy this this wonderful paste. As you can see it makes a whole lot of glue and you will be very happy with this especially under all your encaustic projects. I am going to um, yeah so I'll just link the video. Remember if you're painting with fire use your discount at the cash to be able to um, check out with your discount and thanks for watching everybody there will be more as i continue to work with this in my painting with fire videos and everything else you'll be seeing me use this paste a lot so this video will be referenced over and over again but at a curatednest.com you will be able to find it under the um, tips and tricks section and that's where you'll watch the video all right thanks again for watching everybody